Hello everyone, my name is Trenthal, and today we're going to be talking about the Master of Shadows, Zed. This is a mini-series and is going to be split up into two parts. Today's video is about runes, masteries, item builds, and how to play early, mid, and late game. Video 2 will be about mechanics, tips and tricks, and a bit more. Let's jump right into it then since we have so much to talk about. For runes I like running a standard 3 AD quince, 9 mattresses glyphs, 9 armor seals, and 9 AD marks. If you're playing against an easier lane or against another AD mid-champ, you can substitute your MR blues for CDR glyphs. For masteries, I think a 2190 is your best way to go. I'm not going to go too in-depth with masteries, but I'll leave a comment down below to tell you more about why I chose these uh, specific masteries in detail. My build for Zed varies game to game, but for early and mid-game, it remains pretty constant. I start Longsword in 3 potions, building it into a Brutalizer, then moving on to Cutlass, Tier 1 Boots, and then Blade of the Rune King. After you complete this, you need to look at your enemy's items. If they are building armor, you should probably go Last Whisper. If you're way above the curve, I'd go Yo Mama's Ghost Blade. Your next item also depends on the enemy. Are you getting heavily CC'd? If so, I'd run QSS. If not, you have a choice between Infinity Edge and Bloodthirster. Infinity Edge makes you a better assassin, but BT gives you survivability and better long-term teamfighting power. For your final item, if you didn't go QSS, then finish a defensive item of your choice. And I almost forgot about boots. Tier 2 boots are also very dependent on the enemy. I almost always go Mercury Treads if they have a few stuns, but you can also go Mobility Boots if you plan to roam a lot, or Ninja Tabby if the enemy is a full AD composition. Let's move on to how Zed is typically played throughout the game now. Zed is a very strong laner, and people oftentimes underestimate Zed all in potential pre-level 6. Level 1 you get into lane. If playing as a ranged champion, you want to do your best to farm without taking any harass. Farm with your Qs, and keep in mind your Q does less damage after hitting the first target. Level 2 I almost always take my shadow next, and this is where you can start harassing a bit more. Do your best to land both of your Qs. Remember it's much easier to hit your Qs if you slap the shadow right on top of the enemy. Now you hit level 3, and you put a point in your E. This is where you really need to abuse Zed's kit. Constantly harass your enemy by placing your shadow on top or near the enemy, E so your shadow procs the instant slow, and then line up your Qs for a lot of poke damage. Keep in mind you become vulnerable to enemy ganks when your shadow is on cooldown, so use your better judgement when you go into poke or use your combo. Here's where people begin to underestimate Zed. At levels 4 and 5, you've been poking with your combo over and over again, CSing and generally just playing safe. If your lane opponent is at 70 or 60% health, you can probably all in them. Do your standard W, E, Q combo again. Wait till the last possible second to reactivate your shadow so your cooldowns have time to get back in time. Ignite, auto, E, auto, Q. Remember to really weave in your auto attacks with your abilities to maximize your full damage. This oftentimes leads to a kill or burn summoners from the enemy. Also, instead of doing the slow combo, you can also surprise them by going all in really, really fast. W, Q, E really fast, then W, ignite, auto. The first way is probably better and safer. But this is if your enemy is a bit too close to you and you see the opportunity to take advantage of it. Moving on, let's talk about the mid game. By now you should probably have Brutalizer, Cutlass, and maybe Boots if you're on top of things. Zed's teamfighting, roaming, and diving potential makes him really shine at this time, especially when your side lanes have CC. Make sure to push up your wave before you roam, and then snowball the rest of your teammates. Also remember if you force bot lane out of lane, you can also transition that into a turret and, or maybe dragon. Now rolls around late game. By now you have completed a few of your core items and are getting ready to assassinate. Zed really shines in split pushing and can duel almost anyone and has great ability to take down turrets. When you sp split push, do your best to place a few wards in the jungle where you're split pushing. Now let's talk about team fighting. Knowing when to engage is separates the good Zeds from the bad. You need to know when to engage and how to stay focused on your target. Wait till the enemy CC is burned or they're focusing heavily on someone else, then jump on their backline. Although you need to get in and out fairly fast, don't just spam your abilities. Take the extra second and land your Qs and Es, and remember to use your active on Blade of the Rune King. Remember, the more damage you get on the target once you ult them, the higher the damage proc is. And this concludes my first part of my Zed guide. In my upcoming video, we're going to take a deeper look into teamfighting, combos, and some tips and tricks, and I think it will complement this initial video well. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon. Remember, if you enjoyed, remember to leave behind a like and subscribe uh, to see more of my content in the future. Take care, guys, and have a fantastic day.